Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Glenn, and in this episode, we're going to be working on the dump from the low mount. Stay tuned. Alright, guys, we've got another change of cars in here. We've got Dad's old Renault four wheel drive. Mazda's out the back. Under the top. Um, so, less space again. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a little divider in here so we just get flow from the turbine and not through wastegate or any leak and so there's no turbulence so we'll start on that we'll cut up some lobster cuts out of this pipe here and some off cuts maybe so some lobster cuts out of this pipe here before it starts to bend and go out of shape so just using off cuts and then I get then I gotta get the external wastegate so what I might do is actually fix up this one because I can run this while I'm still making up that one <coughs> then we still are running the compound setup be a lot easier just to take this off. Keep test fitting that one over there because everything will be in position and it's running. So, yeah. Alright, guys, I'm just gonna set up the miter saw to 90 degree cuts and we'll start chopping up this pipe here. Alright, I have marked the center line and now I'm going to cut the smallest edge, so this side, at about a centimeter for each pie cut. Alright guys, I got four pie cuts, or lobster cuts, out of that one, which is the crap that was on the end of it. Uh, couldn't get another one because it starts to bend, and it's going to change the angle of it. So I'll flip it over, do this end, get a few out, that should be enough. Probably have to get some two inch. So we can get the uh, wastegate into it. <coughs> Alright guys, this is actually two and a quarter inch. That was two and a half. Don't know why. But the only bit that I've got is two and a quarter. Anywho, I think it might actually run a bit better. Might scavenge it, the exhaust better. So we have two inch off here, up into the two and a quarter. And then I'll go down to two inch, I think, and up the upper. Alright, guys, I've got some different length ones. So we've got a long one with a straight edge, so this will be onto a flange. These two are the same. We've got a nice skinny one, so we can change the angle or the radius of the turn. I just need to clean them up. I have run out of batteries, so I've got to get a battery charger this week. Tomorrow. And yeah, just got to clean them up. And we'll work on this part. Hey guys, so this housing is the same size TDO4, TF035. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this and fit it in to the TDO4, make sure it's nice and snug, and then I can cut the depth to fit in there. Okay, so just measuring it, 
So it meets the housing in about there. And there. So you can always take the material off. It's a bit harder to put it on. So this is actually less than half, so if I stuff this up, I've still got this half to play with. Pretty good. You just need to trim off this edge. We've got an old gasket on here, so it's got that little bit more gap. Okay, so like so. Might even be able to um, get the in like that. Just a little bit off the off this top edge. Alright guys, and there we have it. Got it cut out, ready to be welded in tomorrow. I'm gonna go pick up a charger tonight. So stay tuned, we're going to actually start putting it all together. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, and thanks for watching, bye.